Mm. Yeah. Look mm-hmm. at number seven. Mm. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> You are just in time. TK, what is trending? Yes, so we were just looking at Chartbeat, which shows us the trending topics online today. And of course, no surprise, it's mm. all about coronavirus. Mm. We have due to coronavirus, their number seven stock market, of course, statement yeah. actually. Uh, that's a good keyword because the Swiss government today also mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Announced a few measures that they're implementing. I mean, big news here in Switzerland. The borders are mostly closed. Swiss people and people with B or C permits, like myself, can still move. But um, it seems like everybody else is going to be highly controlled. They haven't talked about exactly how. Yeah. yeah, Um, yeah. But yeah, then you've got 10 billion Swiss francs worth of stimulus that's going to be helping everything from unemployment to uh, small businesses. And then, of course, school closings, which is important to me, as I have school-age children, um, goes into effect on the, uh, until the 4th of April. But, you know, as everything in Switzerland, each canton will decide how they are going to execute these measures. And so I'm still waiting to hear what's going to happen on Monday. But by closing the schools, they still want to protect the elderly. So they still want to make sure that the generations are not mixing too much, right? So no big events. They're all cancelled. Yes, and um, no events. They banned all events of more than 100 people, Mm -hmm. and bars and restaurants cannot have more than 50 people, including staff. So those are some small operations we're talking about. Um, But yeah, it seems to be really closing down. Crazy times we're living right now, no? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just crazy. Something I I hadn't experienced um, in a long time. Something, and and I don't think it's ever been even close to this. I mean, Mm -hmm. for media, we always talk about how, oh, it's, at least it's, you know, it's not a slow news day, right? We always yeah. have something to talk about. But at the end of the week, it's quite draining. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite tiring. Yeah, I feel like uh, so many things will change. I don't really feel at the beginning. I was like, oh, yeah, that coronavirus is kind of, kind of far away. Now it's here. And I feel it's going to change so many things. You just see how supply change uh, ch- chains, uh, the way we work yeah. with the home office, the way we do business. Um, who do we rely from? It's all going to change. I don't think this is something, you know, when the virus is going to be away that, you know, it's going back to normal. Even with the market, probably the market was anyway overvalued and now it needed some correction. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, at the same time, yeah, we should also not, you know, look at the positive things. Yes, somehow. I mean, now what what was a joke for many of us was, oh, I want to work from home, I want to work from home, you know, is now, well, you have to work from home. I mean, even us who, who, are, who are working here tonight, half of our crew did not come into the office today and worked remotely. Mm-hmm. So it's also part of, more and more a part of our reality and, 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 and for people all over the world, as we see. And you actually did a call to action this week. Yes. You asked people, you and- wanted to see... Exactly. We want to see what your home office looked like. And, um, and so we did. We put out a call. We got some responses. This is the, the best of. And it kind of cracks me up because, you know, everybody has their animal with them. You might recognize Simona Scarpaleggia at the end. She's a former CEO of IKEA. And then we've got, you know, but then we've got nobody in it. This is just the computer, but the dog <laughs> and the cacti. And then you've got this handsome gentleman with an equally handsome dog. Um, so it was very funny to me that these furry animals are also making their way into people's home offices. Then we also got a few emails from you um, because we did not only ask for, for photos, but also your impressions and, and your situation. And one email uh, was from Mark Schuster from UiPath, and he said that um, they were supposed to have this meeting with 50 participants, a uh, business event, and then they met online. Mm-hmm. And that was really a good experience because people showed um, that they were adapting to the situation and that they were also happy that they saved a few kilometers not driving from Geneva or Ticino where all these people were staying to meet. So there is like a small positive effect on the environment as well as people are turning to video conferencing Mm -hmm. instead of meeting in person. Then another um, email by Justin Violante. We have a selfie here from her. She's the chief marketing officer at Bcom and World Web Forum. And Mm -hmm. she's already used to working from home at Bcom. So she really enjoys that. Um, And she hopes that through this abrupt shift to remote working, Mm -hmm. that companies from all sizes will realize how important digitalization is. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, two emails that we got. 
Um, and just FYI to all of you watching, we are continuing with our to collect stories and stories, videos, photos, uh, emails, whatever you want to tell us about your home office experience. We want to hear it. And I also want to hear challenges, hey? I mean, I heard a lot of good stuff here. That's that's great. Yeah. That's great. I mean, I'm happy that you're happy working from home. But, you know, let's be real. It's also not easy. So we want to hear about, we want to hear the dirt, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then another challenge, uh, another thing that um, that you worked on was what people are buying these days when yes. for their home office. Tanya, I mean, it seems obvious. You know, it feels like, uh, duh. I mean, it, uh, if you're setting up your home office, you need everything you need. But, you know, I, I would never imagine that Digitech Galaxis, for example, who mm -hmm. are some of the people I spoke with this week, uh, have just broken records in terms of sales. Outside of Cyber Monday and Black Friday, they've never sold so many PC screens. Well, I would just imagine if I do home office, I'm just gonna use my normal PC. I'm not gonna install, you know, yeah, I hope well, I'm yeah, gonna well, come back well, to work. Well, that's because you're not a banker and you're not a trader. Because, you know, these guys work in front of three or four screens. Mm. And so I assume that it's these guys that are buying yeah. up a lot of these screens so they can reset up these home office situations. Yeah, so I don't want another power bill. That's another story. If you haven't seen that report by Anna Maria Monteri, you can, of course, head to Facebook and LinkedIn or to our website now, and you will find that video. And another Thank you for that shameless plug. <laughs> and another video that we worked on, also related to home office, uh, was we uh, put together mm -hmm. our tips or advice for mm -hmm. your home office or to make the best out of it. Uh, you see it here on our website. There it is. What could you take away from that? I, I have to say, I think the, the, the most challenging bit for me will be to set up those, those boundaries and those expectations for people that you live with. Um, in my case, two of them are under the age of nine. So uh, to help them understand that, you know, when I, when I, put, up that, <laughs> I put up that mom is working, working so it's real. I, I'm home, but I'm not accessible to them. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a very difficult line to draw. And, um, and yeah, and let's not even talk about the router and the bandwidth issues we're going to have because, you know, when I'm working, they're going to be watching streaming something and we're going to have all kinds of Especially <laughs> if they won't go to school. Yes. You don't know yet. You're... Yes, I'm still waiting to hear from my canton. Okay, okay. Well, that just reminds me of that. You remember that guy on BBC maybe a year ago that yes. went viral with that his kids? <laughs> that went viral like a year ago. I think we should leave. I think we're going to leave you with that classic. That's what it's going to put not? a smile on your face. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and let us know what you think by commenting below. That's it. See you next week. For the wider region, I think one of your children's just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting. Shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the north may change? The, um, pardon me. That's quite pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> what was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea.